What's up trading friends? Welcome back to yet another video. I'm Sam from Top Trader Team, guys, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing how biz and what the hell is going on, guys, down over 20% on the daily. What is happening to how biz and can it make a comeback? Okay, well, personally, I believe it can absolutely make a hell of a comeback. Okay, we're going to be talking about exactly why, what are some things that we need to know about the recent catalyst that dropped for how biz, and also how do you play these stocks in a way where you set yourself up for actually profits and not you know, getting stuck with a bag like a lot of people are now left with halibuts. Okay, I'm going to be talking about exactly the trends that these stocks repeat over and over again and how to actually be able to time in your perfect entry point. So with that being said, my friends, hit the thumbs up button. And if this video gets over 100 thumbs ups, I will continue coming out with more halibuts videos. Now, if you're watching this video early, it matters more for you the thumbs up button, okay? Because it kind of builds the momentum and spreads it out to more people. Considering this is re a relatively bullish video on Hellbiz, because I'm going to be explaining exactly why I believe that this stock can recover. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Action, action. Okay, let me just X this real quick. Delete, delete. Let's jump right into Mumu. Okay, so Hellbiz, you know, as we can see, guys, you know, the stock dumped and it dumped intensely in the after hours, guys. However, what are some things that we need to know about this play? Well, guys. This is a play that no long, you know, not not very long ago, it was sitting at 11 cents, okay? So I need you guys to understand, it is still up about 100% from where it was just about, you know, not that long ago, okay? Less than a month ago. Let's go to the daily chart so we get to see this even better, right? Look, about well, how many days is this? One, what, what, what is the date? On the 29th, right? On the 29th of December, right? We're not even on the 29th of January yet. So less than a month ago, this stock was sitting at 11 cents. And right now it's sitting at about, you know, 22 cents, ish, which is still a 100% move. Now, I know that it did peak at a price of 55 cents, right? Causing a lot of people to think, oh my gosh, you know, oh, it's actually, I think it peaked even above 55 cents. Yeah, 55, 55.4 that is, okay? Right? So I know this crash looks insane to you guys, but you need to understand that this is, a, this is still a stock that does have more room downwards to go, believe it or not. Now, personally, I do think that is what is potentially going to be next for help is I think that we're going to get some slow bleeding. But then from there, we're going to go through a phase where the bears are going to get greedy, right? And look, we've seen this over and over again, right? Where we go through trends where the bears get greedy, and then it's followed by a massive spike in the stock. And let me tell you something about help is Helbis has now proven to be a household name, right? It has proven that it has spikeability in its arsenal of trading, meaning that it is a stock which can make unpredicted moves, right? Unpredictable moves, right? And go on parabolic runs, right? Look like right over here, right? The stock ran from about 27 cents ish all the way upwards of 53 cents over here. The stock ran from about 14 cents all the way upwards of 30 cents. The stock ran from about, you know, 11 cents all the way upwards of 55 cents, okay? So spikeability is something that we can make, we can understand that Hellbiz does have in its arsenal. And that is so, so key, guys, when it comes to trading these stocks, because it's different if your Tesla stock, right, which is not known to go on parabolic runs, right, is down about 50% right? Because then in a way you're stuck in that trade and you're kind of screwed, right? But with a trade like Hellbiz, you could make back 100% in a single day, right? This is a stock that can be up 100% in the morning and, you know, in the afternoon, get halted a couple of times, all of a sudden it's up 200% even, right? So you cannot count out Hellbiz. Now, what was the news that caused all this mayhem? Well, this was basically the news of a reverse split, okay? So it says Hellbiz shares down 20%, Call uh, to seek held your permission for a reverse stock split. So why are they having a reverse split? Well, this is actually in order for them to remain in NASDAQ, right? The stock has been trading below $1 since mid-August. And as we know, stocks need to have a closing price of above $1, right? A $1 bid uh, a $1 bid price requirement for maintain continue listing on the NASDAQ, okay? So they're basically going to have a reverse split. Now, personally, I do hope that the reverse split is going to be big, right? What do you mean by big? I hope that they do maybe a 1 to 10 or something like that, right? Because after all, or maybe a 1 to 50 rather, not a 1 to 10, that a 1 to 10, maybe a 1 to 50, right? And bump up the price of the stock to about, let's say, $2 uh, to about $10-ish, right? Post split. Now, why do I want this split to be bigger? This is to kind of, you know, make sure that the stock doesn't get delisted again, right? The, to make sure that at least if they're having a reverse split, the stock can make sure that it's, you know, putting behind the fears of delisting for at least a long period of time, considering it's going to create a massive gap between its post, you know, post um, split price and the minimum bid requirement of $1. Okay, so if they go ahead and do so, that'll be good. But you know, 
it's it's likely they're going to do a one for 10 meaning that the stock's going to end up with a pr price of about around two dollars right now unfortunately if that does happen i could see a stock further sell off right honestly though whether the stock split happens at 50 or happens at 10 or happens at 20 i do see further selling off in the stock right and we see this a lot of times guys right when stocks actually go ahead and have their reverse split now one thing that could happen right which is very unpredictable what we've seen happen before is get the stock to actually short squeeze on the day of the reverse split. You know, we had something like this for CI, right? CI caused a lot of confusion in the markets, right? And it went on a parabolic run during its stock split date. I think it was over here. I think it was on this day right over here. The stock, what does it say? Yep, 50 share, join one share, right? So they had a 50 to one reverse split right over here, right? And the stock went from a price of about $2.90 all the way upwards of $8, okay? Just on the mayhem, you know, another stock that did this was COSM. COSM even did it on a crazier level, right? Guys, the stock ran from a price of about 23 cents all the way upwards of $23, right? Based off of the news that they were going to have that, you know, reverse split happen for them, okay? So that being said, you know, Helvis right now is, it's too soon to say whether it's dead or not, but personally, I do see a lot more red coming in, right? And I do see the stock going through that slow bleeding phase where the short interest piles up, piles up, piles up, and then we get another breaking news event or we get another pouring in of momentum and then that's gonna cause a bigger even spike, right? What am I talking about? Well, this is, you know, a stock like AMC totally proved this to us, right? Guys, the, the, the theory I like to explain this by is the magic lemons theory, right? Is that theory that, you know, we, we get the squeeze, we get the squeeze, original squeeze in a stock, right? And then what happens is that over time, right over time these these bears or rather these bulls get greedy again right they get greedy again and they go ahead and they actually make these lemons get bigger and bigger and bigger by shorting the stock more and more and more causing these lemons to become bigger than even sometimes before and amc is a great example of this right guys we saw amc run from a price of a dollar all the way upwards of you know test 20 dollars ish and then it sold off right so we got the first squeeze and the juice was empty and the stock fell all the way from 20 dollars it, it did pe it did reach 20 dollars but it didn't close 20 dollars so that's why the chart doesn't show 20 dollars but then anyways so then stock fell back down all the way down to about the four dollar levels right the squeeze was done but then from there what we got right is that we went through this phase over here right we went through this slow bleeding phase slow bleeding phase right stag stagnation stagnation where these lemons were getting bigger and bigger again and shorts were piling up until it got to a point where, you know, the short, the lemons were so big that even in the smallest amount of catalyst would cause a short squeeze, right? And that's exactly what we got over here where the stock jumped from $5 all the way upwards of this chart was $45 because this is the daily chart and closed the day on $45 that day, but it did reach above a price of $70. Okay, so with that being said, it's not over for Hellbiz yet, considering that it has became a household name from a short squeeze standpoint. Now, if you guys wanna know what levels we are buying and when we are buying, guys, I have now went ahead and added 10 more spots, only 10 more spots added to the 50% version, 50% discounted version of our Discord. What does the Discord come with, you may be wondering? It comes with lessons, it gives you one-on-one -on -one access to me, it gives you access to a, you know, group of traders who are always here every single morning helping each other find and pick out the perfect stocks and it also gives you access to all my trade alerts okay and the trade alerts are absolutely on fire now the program is there anything you need to know about the program the program is first month money back guarantee with no reasons required meaning all you have to do in order to get your money back is send me a message and say hey I want my money back and bam, you get your money back, okay? So um, yeah, so check us out, but I'm telling you very few people leave the community and that's just because of the results they're seeing. So this is the trading lessons. I dropped this lesson about, you know, last week, I believe. And I think this is one of the most important videos any trader should watch, how to anticipate a secondary offering, how to predict dilution, right? Because as we know, dilution kills. And you know, the lessons are big, you know, we talk about technical analysis, we talk about how to exactly, you know, find winning stocks, 10X stocks and everything like that. So check it out. Now, the alerts, what do the alerts look like? You may be wondering, the alerts look like this, right? The alerts come with a, you know, limit entry price. They come with an exit strategy price. They come with a stop loss. They also come with a risk level. This risk level could either be yellow, red, or green. Red means the stock, the trade is extremely risky. Green means that it's okay. It means that it's it's relatively restless key and yellow means that it's just medium risk, right? Now, why do we use this? This is basically for you guys to understand, okay, how much should we risk? What should my position sizing look like for this trade, all right? Because we believe, you know, every trade is different. So we try to give you guys the best amount of knowledge before actually jumping into the trade. Now, this is where people post their market wins based on our trailers. And listen, people have been making a killing, right? People have been making a killing 
Gordy over here making a killing 200% on um on CORZ, right? And um yeah, you know, the list just continues, right? BZFD, we made a killing thanks to Squid Fan for bringing this display to my attention. Says um Torn, right? MLGO over here, we made Gordon made a killing, right? And the list just continues, right? GMBL, GMBL, we made a killing on this trade, guys. As you guys can see, double O. His name is Jeremiah. Brought in about 2,152 profits, right? So the link is in the comment in the description, guys. Check it out. It's right there. And um, yeah, you know, it, it's uh, personally, I think if you're trading with anything over, let's say, three thousand dollars, you're gonna find a lot of value in the community, right? Now, personally, I don't think you should be joining a community like this for over. If you're, you know, if you're not trading with over three thousand dollars, I mean, you could. You would still find a lot of value in it. But personally, you know. I find that a lot of times people that um you know people that join trade alert communities with less than three thousand dollars and you know that's just a made up mark that I've put myself but a lot of times these people don't really understand how trading works and they like to think of trading as gambling right because a lot of times I mean look literally the alert that I showed you guys right over here on TC um on TCBP the alert that we closed today guys this was a ten percent gains right from six dollars to six dollars and sixty cents. I mean, look, that's not a trade that brings in, you know, 50% for, and look, we do have trades that bring in, you know, 30, 40%, right? Like, for example, over here on, um, on, you know, GNS, we jumped in at 420, 493. That was a solid, like, 20, 20% gains, I believe, over there, right? Um, over here on, um, GMBL, you know, we jumped in at a price of 0 0.13 and position closed at about, you know, 0 0.14 ish. So, you know, this was also massive gains for us, you know, about another 30% gains ish over there, right? So, we do have big gains, but the point is, you know, if you're trading, you know, we like base hits, right? We like those 10% gains. We like those 15% gain plays as well, right? Because those are the foundation of becoming a profitable trader at the end of the day, right? Those base hits, it's not all about home runs, okay? And base hits get the job done. So, you know, that's why. And I, I found out that people that, you know, trade with less than $3,000 or trade with little money, they're always looking to 2x their money, 5x their money, you know, just get rich quick scheme type of things. And that's not what we promote in our community. Okay, so be mindful of that. Now, you know, with that being said, I hope you guys found value in today, today's video on Hellbiz. Also, another thing, guys, listen, my trade are not my my trading results are not typical. Our trading community's results are not typical. Trading is extremely risky. Over 90% of traders that trade by themselves lose money in the markets. And that is a fact. Google it yourself. Okay, so you know, don't just go based off of what you see online, right? And my trades and our wins and everything like that, right? Always do due diligence. Nothing you heard in today's video should be taken as financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just someone who's been trading for a very long time and has managed to be become profitable year over year over year. So that's all, all right. And um, yeah, everything I say in today's video was my opinion. Don't sue me, bro. Thank you for watching Happy Instant Trading, your boy Sam from Top Trader Team.